Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bad ahabta the question was asked assalamu alaikum i had a question about the decree of allah i read a hadith that allah wrote down everything that would happen 50000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth does this mean Allah already decreed for people to be in hell forever and people to be in heaven forever before the creation of everything? How can this be reconciled with free will? If something is already decreed, then you are ine inevitably going to fall into it even if we have the choice in this life. Allah is the most just, but this is very confusing and making me have bad thoughts. I hope you can clarify, brother. And bi idnillah ta'ala, we will do our best to try to clarify in a hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, and this is from the a hadith of Qudsi, Lama qadallahu khalq kataba fi kitabihi ala nafsihi, fu huwa mawdu'un induhu inna rahmati taghlibu ghaddibi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith, Hadith al Qudsi, or a hadith where he narrated uh, on his Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he said that when Allah created and decreed everything, created the creation and decreed every, everything, Kataba fi kitabihi ala nafsihi, and he wrote in a book about himself inna rahmati taghlibu ghadibi verily my mercy supersedes uh, my wrath this hadith of the messenger of allah subhanahu uh, of, of, uh, of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah tabarak wa ta'ala states that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy supersedes his rahmah. And we see that with all the sins that we commit and all the mistakes that we commit. And the Prophet sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayna khatayin tawabun. All the children of Adam make sins and the best of those who sin are those who repent. With regards to the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, naam, everything has been decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullu shayin khalaqna khalaqnahu bil qadr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, everything we have decreed, you know, given in an appointed uh, term. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everything. Part of the maratib or levels of qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he created everything, that he has knowledge of everything, that he wrote everything, and I've forgotten the, the fourth uh, level. But what we learn, and everything is with his Mashiach, tahta Mashiachillah that it's in, in accordance with his, his, his will. And so, with that being the case, Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah believes that everything was created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, everything has an appointed term and everything was created by him. And whether you go to the hellfire and the paradise, likewise, does that mean full determination that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just created you and is throwing you in the fire? No, that's not the understanding of Ahl Sunnah. And we only go with the Nasus, we only go with those texts which illustrate these principles. So how do we understand and reconcile? That's a fantastic question that the people prior that from the earliest times after the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, there were people during the time of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu who went astray with regards to this, known as the Qadariyah. And this is why the famous Athar of Ibn Umar, I believe it, it was, who said, uh, he, which is an Athar which deals with Ahl Bid'ah because there were people who came up and they questioned the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibn Umar said, I think it was Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu or Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said, tell them that they, uh, that uh, Ibn Umar is free from them and they are free from me because they began to question things which the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu which never questioned. And this is the problem with too much in injection of philosophy 
and other philosophical discourse that really has no benefit as far as the Nasus, the Nasus, the text we follow in accordance with the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when it comes to Islam. And so we're restricted by those texts and we understand in accordance with those texts. So anyhow, they began to question the Qadr and he freed himself from them. What we have to understand is that now Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala created everything and everything was within his knowledge, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is al-alim and he is al-adl, he is the most just. So although a person may be decreed for the hellfire, this is because Allah knows what they would have done with guidance and what they would have done and what they do with all the chances that they had to repent to Allah. So for example, someone who's a wicked disbeliever and who uh, kills many people and they go to the hellfire, okay? And they were, they died on shirk billah, worshiping other than Allah, their desires, the shaitan, whatever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created that individual and created their actions. However, they had what we would describe as probably limited free will in that they had the choice to do good or evil in this life. Allah did not create them with injustice. We believe He is Al-Adl, that He gave them chances, but He knew what their end result was, would be. I hope that's clear, and that is without getting in depth in the Qadr because we can only talk about it to the extent of the text and extent with our un, our limited understanding and this is why the Prophet ﷺ forbade going into depth about the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and the Salaf made inkar about those who yukhud fi Qadr who, that, that went in depth and, and, and began to debate and argue about the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we understand that Likewise, the person who does righteous deeds or dies upon righteousness in Tawheed and they enter Jannah, that this was also written that they would do these things. But it isn't in the concept, uh, similar, you know, the, those who believe that, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just determined you, so we depend on that determination and we don't do deeds. La. Rather, we have to strive because we don't know the outcome. And I hope that that brings some clarity. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who accept His divine decree and adhere to righteous deeds. In a'mal wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.